In this episode, robots and humans work side by side in this Ford factory and a $25 billion project to build an underwater bridge. Welcome to your Manufacturing Minute. By 2035, the 680-mile trip from Kristiansand to Trondheim in Norway could drop from 21 hours to just 10 and a half thanks to a new proposed project. Norway is riddled with fjords, geological sea inlets with steep cliffs, beautiful but highly inconvenient. That's why the country is considering creating submerged floating bridges within its fjords to reduce travel time. The tentative plans detail two curved 4,000 foot long concrete tubes about 100 feet underwater. The tubes would be held up by pontoons on the surface and could possibly be bolted to underwater bedrock for additional stability. The benefits? Rough weather couldn't affect the structure underwater, and it would offer easier access to rural residents, especially in an emergency. Plus, it would feel just like driving through any other tunnel. The unanswered questions, however, could workers really construct and maintain the massive underwater infrastructure? Additionally, the effect the wind and waves might have on the structure is still unknown. Is this form of infrastructure a viable solution to growing demand for faster travel? Let me know your thoughts by commenting below. The robots are coming. For years, an almost systematic fear of automated factories and assembly lines has existed throughout the manufacturing industry. The narrative being that robotics will swoop in and not just displace, but replace factory workers. Although the waves of anxiety and optimism continue to ebb and flow throughout specific industries, more news continues to pop up that shows how robotics could actually make life easier for their human coworkers. The latest examples from a Ford factory in France where humans and robots literally work alongside one another. On the plant floor, Ford's collaborative robots place shock absorbers on the vehicle. Then the human worker can use the robot to help lift and position the part in the right spot. This saves the worker from performing the difficult and tiring portion of the task, but still necessitates the human worker's presence. Essentially, robots and humans can swap tasks to carry out jobs more efficiently and with decreased risk of downtime or worker injury. Ford says collaborative robots like these are the real future of automation on the plant floor. Not convinced that automated assembly lines won't hurt the manufacturing labor market? Comment below or tweet me your thoughts at Mnet News. That's all the time we have for today, but tune in every Tuesday and Thursday for your next Manufacturing Minute.